Doing my Southern. Welcome to Southern Outdoors. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a mink box. First thing you're going to need is a six foot long privacy fence board. It's got the, that end on it. Just privacy fence. Six foot long. And the next thing you're going to need is an inch and a quarter finishing nails. Yeah. They look like this. Then you're going to need a tape measure hammer and uh, not quite sure how long this is seven and a half by five and a half seven and a half by five and a half long wire uh, I just call it chicken wire whatever you want to call it I know it ain't chicken wire but there it is you'll need one of them for each main box you have you will need one of them a hammer and spray paint's optional I just like to have all the camo colors so I can paint them after I'm done with them. That's up to you. Alright, I've came outside first step for your first step and uh, what I'm going to do is your board's going to be cut into four separate pieces and your first one with the lift in is going to be 21 inches. So now I'm going to make a little mark at 21 inches and take this off use my straight edge. Draw me a straight line. And now you're going to want to go ahead and cut this before you mark your other dimensions so you don't have any. Uh, so whenever you put your board together you don't have lips hanging over and stuff like that. So, and then your next board is going to be 17 inches. And the rest of your dimension is going to be same as 17, so I'm going to go ahead and speed this up. Jesus and forever you'll survive. Cast aside, my brother, all your troubles cast aside. Have a home and life eternal and your troubles cast aside. four boards. Now we're ready for the next step. Next step is uh, it takes a while to do. Um, you're going to want to take two of your boards. I mean you can nail these on any way you want to but basically what you want it to look like when you get finished. There's two boards on each side sitting on top and then your third piece sitting on top of these other ones. So it looks like a box. Just like that. So, after you have it nailed, it should look like this. It's just a box. Alright. So, I'm going to go ahead and do this in speed here. said, cross over to the other side of Jordan, my people must be led, no longer in the wilderness wonder, from Egypt's bondage flee, and when you reach the 
box done it's time to put your wiring on the back um, so now what I use for this is I just place this here on the back like a square well not that but otherwise you just stick it on the back I take a stapler heavy duty stapler and just go around it getting all the corners And after I get the corners, just go in the middle, all four sides. And then just wherever I think it's going to need one. And if that don't hold that thing on there. is done besides putting your bracket on. We're going to go out there and do that right now. Alright, we're out at the trapping shed. These are, uh, let me make sure before I say it. Um, these are, um, I believe they're called killer clips. Um, what these do is you mount them like this on your mount them just like that on your mink box and then whenever you get these set your jaws just sit on it just like that right. sit on it like that so um, basically only thing you have to do to mount these is get a screw and screw it in right there on your mink box um, I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then I'll show you the finished product after I get done with the trap mount on it Alright, I've got my my box here and uh, got my mount put on. And then just uh, just like that, that's what it'll look like. And then you'll take your triggers off or your safeties off. That's what it'll look like. But you're gonna to wanna to put your hole, I just drilled a hole on the wrong side. You wanna drill a hole in the side of your box, like I did right there. And that's where you'll stick a wire through it and you'll, that's how you'll keep it or stay from the ground or whatever you can call it. But basically how this set works is, uh, I'll use a broom handle. Just demonstrate this is a mink or a raccoon or something. And the, another reason I use 120s instead of 110s is uh, I've caught coons in my 120s and I can never get the 110s to hold my coons head in it and they just wind up getting that don't hurt them at all. But uh, I'm using a 120, Duke 120, and uh, basically what happens, you throw your bait in the back of the box and the reason you have this wire and screen on the back is so whenever the wind's blowing, your your scent carries on and they can smell all the way through it. But anyways, you got your bait in the back, your mink's interested, it comes up, stops right here, smells around a little bit, decides he wants to go in, 
after his bait. So whenever he goes in to go in there and get it, he's caught. But remember, your thing will be to it. So whenever he's sitting there, flinch around or whatever, and his head's caught in it, he ain't going nowhere. So get about a perfect catch on that broom handle. But that basically is it for a mink box. There's your color.